thought I better add another little explanation. how guitars got the definition axe. Imagine having to back a guy up when he's playing this fantastic solo and your whole thing is this. going wild over his solo and that's your whole part is just this and they keep hollering more 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 and you've been going on this thing for 10 minutes and they're shouting more 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 and you're doing this That's when a guitar becomes an axe, because you want to grab it by the handle and take it and swing it at the crowd like an axe, till everybody's out cold. But they just keep... And that's your whole thing, and you're having to stand there doing that over and over and over. Yep. Thankless job. jobs you run into when you play music. It's not always the most glorious thing that makes things work. But everybody wanted to hear that guy play that solo so much, but that little dun 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 dun, dun was all I did in the background. And they wonder why musicians are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the reason. But if it can, it will. Well, how about a song tonight? Almost Persuaded. Almost Persuaded now to believe, almost persuaded, Christ to receive. Seems now some soul to say, Go, Spirit, go thy way. Some more convenient day on thee I'll call. Almost persuaded, come, come today. Almost persuaded, turn not away. Jesus invites you here, angels are lingering near, prayers rise from hearts so dear, 
O wanderer, come, O most persuaded, harvest is past, O most persuaded, doom comes at last. Almost cannot avail, almost is but to fail. Sad, sad that bitter wail, almost but lost. <sighs> voice is a little shaky and that's the reason I'm not playing any instruments tonight. My hands are shaking so bad I can hardly hold them still. But I do have a little story to tell. Uh, another one with my funny wife. <laughs> she was always getting good laughs out of folks. Well we were at an auction and uh, she had a bad habit of bidding a half a dollar and she would do like this half a dollar well they got to where when they couldn't get a bid on something they'd just say half a dollar 87 bought it that was our bidding number and uh, so that night the a car had hit a telephone pole, knocked the power out. The power was off to the building for about an hour. So then when they get the power back on, the auction starts again. And uh, <clears throat> so bidding's going on pretty good and everybody's having a good time. Well, they brought in this old eight millimeter movie projector and a movie screen. And the things would never get more than a dollar or two bid. And uh, the floor boys look straight at her. Auctioneer looks straight at her. And she jumps up and says, I'll do it to me before you do it to me. Half a dollar. Well, the auctioneer rolled off the block and went plumb out the door. He was laughing so hard floor boys fell down across the table that they couldn't get up. It was 10 or 15 minutes before they could get everybody through laughing and the auctioneer could get back on the block. He got up there and tried to start the auction again. He started laughing again and went back outside. <laughs> and that went on for another 10 minutes or so. And uh, but she was known as old half a dollar. And, uh, but that broke the auction house up that night and they just always pulling jokes on her. Uh, whatever couldn't get a bid on, they'd say half a dollar and she bought it, whether she wanted it or not. <laughs> what they didn't realize was we were taking them 50 cent boxes and getting about 10, $15 a piece out of them the next day. If they'd ever known that, they would stop that practice. But that, we had a lot of good times with the auctions and did pretty well with the auctions. Um, I started with $10 on a pickup truck. <laughs> and in a couple of weeks I was buying pickup loads and then it became where I was buying out complete stores. I had a reputation I'd buy anything. If the price was right, of course. Uh, I had a 10% rule. If I paid a dollar for something, I sold it for $10. That I called that 10%. But, yeah, and I, I developed that if it can, it will saying. Uh, because I had so many funny things happen that well, if it can, it will, and it certainly will. Well, 
that's about all. I'll put that together with another piece of video I shot, but that's about all I can do tonight.